The other month I made a video giving a full behind the scenes of my Etsy mouse ear shop. I showed kind of like all of my setup and workspace. I talked a little bit about my shop, how I got it started, and people seem to be quite interested in that video. So what I thought would be fun to do was either a one video or a three-part series doing a week in the life of running a mouse ear small shop. With that, I kind of wanted to show, you know, the full process of everything I do from shop opening to making and finishing and shipping out all the ears. I typically have shop openings once every month, and so it usually takes me about three weeks to complete a set of orders. So depending on how this goes, I'm either gonna do three videos, one for each week, or I might kind of mash everything together so it won't necessarily be a week in the life, but more of like three weeks in the life. But I thought this was good timing because I am opening my shop up again today. I'm actually opening it up in about an hour from now. So before I do a shop opening, there's a few things I already have to prepare and have set. I don't really have much time in between when I finish up and send out the previous orders and reopen my shop. So typically it's only about like two to three days notice for an actual shop opening and announcement, but I always post on my Instagram stories kind of like progress of how things are going. So people typically know about when I'll be reopening. So on my Instagram, I always post in my bio whenever I've decided a date and time to open my shop, but that's really only helpful if somebody like actually visits your page, which doesn't happen too much. So I also always post in my story and create a little countdown that, where people can set like a little notification to be notified that I'm reopening. And then I also make an actual post that goes on my feed. For this one, I decided to put like the actual date and time in the photo itself. The last shop opening I had, I was only open for 15 minutes before I had to kind of cut off orders. Last time I got 29 orders for 33 pairs of ears, which was by far the most I've taken on. But because I'm now like not allowed to come into the lab and have to work at home all times, it's a little bit easier to manage more ear orders because, you know, say like on a lunch break, I can like get some ear stuff done. There's no commute time or whatnot. But the other thing I do to manage quantities is on my Etsy, for the most popular items, I will like set a specific limit of how many I have available. So it's typically my classic churros and beignets that sell it the fastest. So I won't have any more of those available than I know I can handle. But then I have tons of other designs like cinnamon buns and ice cream and donuts. So I have to kind of monitor how many orders I have coming in and then kind of cap it when I can't really take on any more. So when I open up my shop shortly, all I do on Etsy is I manually turn it off of vacation mode. So I kind of like watch the clock tick down and right about time I click it so that my shop opens up. Then I'll be managing orders as they come in. Typically I'll have to deal with some messages or emails. Sometimes a buyer accidentally selected the wrong thing. Sometimes somebody wants to change a bow or have a custom bow. Sometimes it's somebody that's upset that an item sold out before they purchased it. So I'll be on customer service for a while after the opening there, but we'll check back in once we've had our opening. We'll see how that goes and then we'll get working on the ears. Okay, so I just had my shop opening and I got so many orders in so quickly, I had to close my shop after only five minutes. I got in 32 orders for a total of 44 pairs of ears, which is just so insane. I feel bad that I had to close my shop so early because I got a number of messages that I just responded to people right now who were trying to check out and then got an error because I had to put my shop back into vacation mode. But this is now officially definitely the most <laughs> amount of ear orders I've ever had or taken on. But it's also going to be a fun challenge because it means there's going to be a lot of variety of ears to make. I'll just be working my little fingers to the bone and getting everything sewn, but I should be good in terms of supplies. One of the big key things is never wait until you're out of something or even low on something to reorder it. You always want to make sure you have like a good stock on hand. So anything that I was even getting close to low on, I placed an order for recently. Just today, I got a batch of my churro fabric in from Japan. I have an order for a few things from Joanne's arriving tomorrow, but otherwise I'm pretty well stocked and loaded on everything. So now the next step that I'm going to do is this is my little notebook where I handwrite all the orders that I have. So I'm gonna go through my Etsy and then copy everything down, what ears they ordered, what bow they want, whether they want teeth on the headband or not. 
I like to have this as a physical thing that I can like look through and check off. So then kind of like inventory how many orders for each type of different ear that I have. And then I typically always start off with kind of like assembling the headbands together because that kind of like is a good foundation base for me. But if you place an order with me today, thank you so much. Again, that was so fast. It was just like the orders just kept streaming in. And if you weren't able to get an order through, I'm really sorry, but I do have my shop openings every month. So we'll check back later once this notebook is all filled out. It is the next day, so I didn't really do too much last night. All I did was write down in my notebook all of the orders that I have and kind of any kind of customization to it. And it turns out I had miscounted the number of orders I had yesterday because I in total have to make 46 pairs of ears. So that's even a bit more of a daunting task, but I am ready for the challenge. What I'm gonna start doing now is just take out and count out all of my base plastic headbands. I order these one inch plastic headbands in bulk from AliExpress. And typically the first things that I do is cover the headbands in fabric. That's gonna take a little while because there's 46 of them to do, but it's a pretty nice base easy place to start. I am also very excited because last night I got delivered this little metal cart. So I really have been needing a way to kind of store the ears that I'm currently working on and have finished up. My last opening, I had so many orders, I kind of just had to precariously line them all up on a bed frame. But I found this little metal cart and it has these three tiers. As you can see, a pair of ears just like fits and holds and stays in there perfectly. So I'll be able to use this kind of like for ears that are drying or whenever I have ears finished up, I can line them all up on here. So I'm now gonna get working on the base headbands and I think I'm gonna watch the latest BuzzFeed true crime episode that just dropped while I do that. So this is what 46 headbands look like all together. It is quite the mountainous pile here. To organize myself a bit more, I took out all of my headband fabric and then put the number of headbands on that I need to make. So as you can see, there are the vast majority of headbands that I make in this brown minky fabric. We need a decent number in the black minky fabric, but then it's just kind of a few others and this helps me keep track of, oh hello, this is Micah, my cat, she's um, coming to check out this setup. Excuse me. And then this helps me keep track of exactly what type of ears I need to make. So I'm now gonna go in with my little headband stencil and use this to cut out all the fabric that I need. And then it's just gonna be gluing that all onto the headbands and adding the braid trim. It's about an hour and a half later and I have finally finished out tracing out and cutting out all 46 of my pieces of headband fabric. Felt like it took a little bit longer than normal. I feel like my scissors are getting kind of dull, but we made it through. So now we get to go to what's probably gonna be a pretty long task of gluing everything on to the headbands and finishing those off. I have finished up all of the non-brown headbands minus the braid trim that goes inside. I still have this whole mountain of the brown minky headbands to put together, but this is kind of a little bit monotonous work. So I think I'm gonna take a little break, go for a walk outside, and then we'll get to trying to finish all these up and then all of these will need the braid trim on the inside just got back from a little walk and this big package from Joann's arrived. I had put in an order for a few more supplies that I needed to stock up on. I think they split my order into two different shipments, but since I'm doing this, I thought I'd go ahead and share the things that I got. The box itself is big because I got another big bag of fiber fill. Fiber fill goes by so quickly. You always need more fiber fill than you think you have. This is one of the 32 ounce bags, so it is pretty big, but this actually will not last too long. Then a very small little item here. This is just a small sized of some black fabric paint. 
I ordered another color that I think is what's coming in a second shipment. I just got the full size for now because for some reason Joann's didn't stock the larger sized tulip fabric paints. So it's better to have this small size on hand than nothing. And then I also got another roll of my photo fabric paper. This is what I used to make the Rice Krispie ears. It's printable fabric that you can print from your regular inkjet printer. So I cut up this roll into pages that are the size of regular pieces of paper. You print them out and then you can use them as regular fabric. Because this is a slightly more expensive product, I'll only ever buy it when I can get it with a 40% off or 50% off coupon from Joann's. And when you use a coupon like that, the price isn't too bad. I'm kicking myself a bit because when I was placing this order, I was thinking of anything I could potentially need or want to restock on. And the one thing I forgot to add was I should have gotten another bottle of my E6000 spray glue. I have a full bottle of that here, but obviously I'd like to have another stocked on hand. But that's not super pressing, I don't need to order it right now. So whenever the next time I put in order in for more supplies, I gotta be sure to add that to the list. But it's now a time to try and get back to finishing off putting those headbands together. Some more time has passed and I have now finished up all of the base of the headbands. They still just need the braid trim on the inside. So now this gets added to the inside of all of those headbands. It's getting close to dinner time, so I'll try and finish up a little bit more. But then otherwise, I'm gonna take this down and hopefully tonight I'll be able to finish up adding the braid trim to the headbands and then they will officially be finished. So we're fresh and ready to start a new day. Last night, I did finish up the rest of the headbands. I took a little break for dinner and then I finished putting all of the braid trim on the inside of the ears around 9 p.m. So I've now fully finished up all 46 of these headbands. And now I basically have to start diving in to making the ears themselves. Last shop opening, I started off with making my churro ears and I think I'm gonna do the same now. Churros are pretty time consuming in their overall construction. So it's kind of better to get that done sooner rather than later. I think in total, I have about nine churro orders. Some of them are plain and some of them are decorated. It'll take a while to get all the fabric measured and cut, but then we gotta sew a whole bunch of little tubes of fabric together. finished sewing together all of my churros and then I also cut them to size. So now the next thing we have to do is I have tons of pipe cleaners here. Gonna have to twist these together, put them in the churros, and then we'll be able to move on to the actual churro assembly. I finished up all of my little individual churro pieces. Now these all just have to get glued together to turn into the actual churros. I also did a little bit of organization. I put all the headbands that I prepped in my new little cart here. That also frees up my little table here for my cat Micah to sleep on. And this thing really is just perfect size and storage for all these headbands. But what I still have to tackle is I have all the fabric that I use to cut the headbands out. So I gotta put this all away in my fabric organizer. I try and stay on top of it as much as I can and kind of like putting fabric away once I've used it. But there's usually a little bit of a pile there for the time being.
But I've gotten this many churros assembled so far. I have this pile left to go. So it's about dinner time now. We'll have a little bit of a break to eat and then try and get some more of these assembled tonight. We have now entered the start of the actual work week. Last night, I finished up the preliminary assembly of all of the churros, but these still have to be cut to size and finished up. So I should be able to squeeze that in today. But I now have my regular PhD duties to take care of. I have my Zoom office hours starting up in a few minutes. No students have yet come to those office hours, but regardless, I still have to be ready with my Zoom open in case any students have any questions. And then after that, it's the lecture for the class that I TA for. So the professor presents that over Zoom and I'm there helping to monitor the chat with any questions. And of course, you know, I need to be up and up with all the lecture material in case any students do come with questions. So that'll go until about close to noon. Hopefully over my lunch break, I can tackle a little bit more with the churros. But then with the rest of the afternoon, it's time for me to get to work on more of my PhD writing. And then once that work is done and we head into the evening, we'll see what else we can tackle in terms of ears. It is now the early evening. I was able to get all of the churros actually kind of like finished up. So now these guys will be all ready to actually sew onto the ears. I had my iron out for something else, so I went ahead and added the interfacing to my shave ice fabric. This is fabric that I hand dye myself, so everyone comes out a little bit unique and different. I have three pairs of shave ice ears to make, so I'll probably just go ahead and cut out and sew those ears up. This is currently all of the shave ice fabric I have. I do technically have a whole bunch more, but I am not happy with how it came out. A while back, I had dyed a bunch in bulk and I had tried a second different method and I just really do not like how it turned out. I don't think I can use it. So probably not this weekend, but maybe next I'll have another full shave ice dyeing session. I also got one supplies in the mail today. These are some fake nonpareil sprinkles I use for the Rice Krispie ears. I was starting to get a little lower on those, so always gotta stay stocked up. My cat Micah is currently crying and being very needy, so I'm gonna have to go tend to her now. You wanna say hello? So I didn't get anything else done last night. At that point, I kind of needed a break. We had a 90 day fiance on the DVR, so it was nice to take some time to relax and watch that. Today, I have nothing concrete on my schedule, meaning like no set TAing duties. So today is just a full day of working on my research and dissertation. Throughout the day, I'll probably take like a few 10 minute breaks to do a little work on ears, especially when you're working alone from home continuously. It's kind of hard to always stay productive doing writing and research. So taking a few kind of short, quick breaks throughout the day kind of helps maintain your productivity levels. So I will probably get printed out my fabric for my Rice Krispie ears. I might cut and sew a few of the simple circle ears like ice cream sundae. And then maybe tonight, once work is done, I'll start to sew together and assemble the churro ears, but we'll see. Well, a bit of the ixnay on printing any fabric right now, because apparently I am out of black ink in my printer. It always just ends up being like, surprise, you have no ink, we can't print anything. So I just placed an order for that with staples. Everything should be in on Thursday. So doing anything with the Rice Krispies will have to hold off until then. So I was able to fit in sewing about four simple pairs of ears together today. I also saw that Joann's had a coupon for 40% off your entire regular priced order online. So I went ahead and stocked up on a number of other supplies. Then there were a few things that either Joann's didn't really have or was better priced on Amazon. So I did put in another Amazon order. I also went ahead and ordered a second one of these carts because I've already kind of maxed out the storage space that that one has. And then I also had to find a place to get new labels for my ears. I have little confectioner shop labels that I put on the inside of all the ears. If you can see with this one, the printing is really off and I actually had quite a number of them that were bad. So I needed to put in an order for more of these, but when I went to look at the Etsy shop, it's just like gone, disappeared. It's not in vacation mode or anything. It's like it never existed. So I found another Etsy shop that does basically the exact same type of thing, the exact type of custom printing with that ribbon size. Uh, the only thing was that I had to order a quantity of 1000 labels. 
so once those arrive, I will definitely be set on ear labels for a very, very, very long time. It's close to dinner time now, but after dinner time, I'm gonna take some of these churro ears down and then assemble them, sew them all together. It's always nice and satisfying when you can get the first few ears fully attached and together. I finished up sewing together five pairs of churro ears. I still have four more pairs to go, but it is now bedtime, so we'll have to save the rest of this for tomorrow. We've made it to the middle of the week, although every day at this point is honestly kind of the same. The lecture that I TA for will be starting in a little bit. Then hopefully over lunch I can get another pair or two of the churro ears sewn together. Typically on Wednesday nights I have to TA. I do live online webcasts going over the labs. But the semester is coming to a close soon and I just did the last lab webcast last week so I actually have my Wednesday nights open. I have probably like seven pairs of ears here that are sewn. I could get those stuffed and assembled. So that's probably what I'll do once I finish up the remaining four churro ears. we have finished all of the churro ear assembly. If you notice, this one is a slightly darker color. That's because that is a lightsaber churro ears and those get fully covered in glitter. But all of these will now be ready to move on to the decoration stage. You can see I've already cleared out some of the headbands from down there. So I will probably move on to these ears and get them assembled and sewn onto their respective headbands. Last night I finished stuffing and sewing up all of the other ears I had prepped. So today I can actually attach these onto the headbands. It's only a little after 7.30 right now, so I'll probably get a pair or two done before I actually start work work for the day. Thursdays are much like my Tuesdays in which I have like nothing on my schedule or any TAing duties. So I basically just create my own structure for whatever dissertation work I need to get done. But yesterday my black ink for my printer did arrive, but I'm still waiting on my color ink, which should be in either today or tomorrow. So once that's in, I'll finally be able to print out and get prepped the fabric for the Rice Krispie ears. Today I also do want to put in an order on Ally Express. I want to order more headbands and then I also want to order more of the fabric that I use for some bows. Under normal circumstances, shipping from Ally Express usually takes a very long time, but especially under the current situation, I want to give an extra long time for orders to arrive. So now I think would be a good time to place those type of orders. Unfortunately, Joann's has totally discontinued a lot of the fabrics that I used for the bows. So I've had to switch over to fabric from Ally Express since that'll be kind of a much more reliable supply. I do really like this fabric, but it's so sad that this little piece is all I have left of this white with silver metallic foil. I love this fabric for the bows. I used it for churro ears and donuts, and it's been discontinued for quite a while. Same with like a similar red fabric, but I've at least been able to find some decent replacements for them. So I guess we'll check back in a bit later in the day. It is now the early evening and we have made some good progress on ears so far. I was able to finish assembling and sewing together the seven pairs of ears I had ready. So we've got three ice cream sundae, one Christmas cookie, and then three shave ice ears, in addition to the nine pairs of churros that were already ready. I also did get an Amazon delivery of some supplies today. I got this nice big bottle of clear Elmer's glue. This I used to make my own glitter glue. I got a package of shipping tape. So this will be useful for when I have to package all the orders up. And then I got some of this batting to use as a little fluffiness for some of the bows. So the question is, what do I want to work on next? I think I might start and make the one pair of cinnamon bun and chocolate chip cookie ears. Those are both, I think, the only remaining singleton ears. All other ear styles I have multiple orders for. Those are both also made of the same fabric. So we'll see what we can get done with those tonight.
it is Friday, so that now means we are officially one week in from when I had my shop opening. Last night, I got a pair of cinnamon bun and chocolate chip cookie ears put together. So today, I can sew these onto the headbands. And also late last night, I got my color ink delivered, so that means that we can finally now print out the fabric for the Rice Krispie ears. Since it is Friday, that means we do have the lecture class to TA for, but we're almost at the end of the semester, and I think next week should be the last week of classes. So I'll probably now get the Rice Krispie fabric printed out since that has to get washed and set out to dry. Over lunch, I can probably sew those two pairs of ears onto the headbands, and then we'll see if there's any time left to do anything today. Since it is Friday night, even though we can't go out, I probably don't want to do too much work on ears tonight. was just a knock on the door and my second storage cart arrived. So this is kind of what it looks like in full. It's perfect timing because that one back there is already getting pretty filled up with the ears I have done. So now we'll get to assemble and put this together. I feel like this has just like upped my workshop game so much. There we go, looking pretty good. All ready to hold a lot more ears and ear pieces. A little bit more time has passed and there was another knock on the door and this actually pretty heavy package from Joann's arrived. This was the Joann's order I just placed the other day. This is when they had a coupon for 40% off your entire regularly priced purchase. So we'll open this up and show what supplies I got. Okay, first thing, one of the things that's making this pretty heavy, I got another kit of my resin mix. I use these when making my lollipop ears. Then I got two bottles of the E6000 spray glue. This was a thing that I forgot about in my previous order, but I guess it worked out because now these are both 40% off. I also got two bottles of fabric paint medium. You can add this to regular acrylic paint and turn it into fabric paint. Then I got a few of these silver and white fabric paint markers. These are really good when I need to make marks on dark fabric, either on headbands or if there's black fabric that I need to cut out of. I went ahead and got another roll of the photo fabric paper. I did just receive another full roll, but again, when it's 40% off, might as well stock up. Then this was just something that was new on the site and I saw that looked fun. It's this sprinkles print fabric. I don't really have a use for this, but when something catches my eye, might as well. And then lastly, I got some plain white fabric to be able to use and dye for the shave ice ears. I'm surprised by how quickly that order came, but hey, I won't complain. It is now the early evening. I got all my Rice Krispie Treat fabric prepped and dried. I finished sewing together the one pair of chocolate chip cookie and cinnamon bun ears. And so I think I'm gonna end this video here since we've now officially gone through a full week in the life and also because this video is definitely getting very, very long. So be sure to stay tuned for part two, which will go over the second week in the life. That's where we get even more fun stuff because we have a whole bunch of ears that are sewn and assembled together, but now they have to be decorated. I also haven't even started any of the donut or beignet or lollipop ears. So I'll do a part two that covers all of the following week. And then after that, I'll have a part three that goes from after that until whenever I have all of these orders finished and done. I've been making pretty good progress so far, so I've been happy with that, but obviously there's still quite a lot of ears to go. So I hope that this has been interesting to kind of see a full week in the life of running a mouse ear small shop. Of course, this is just how it is for me as somebody who making ears is something that I just do on the side. There's tons of ear shops that they make ears full time and everybody has a slightly different process for how they go about running their own shop. But I hope to see you back for part two and thanks for watching.